Namaskar. This video is dedicated to the asana called Yoga Mudra, which means the gesture of unity. This position can be performed in the morning or evening. It is included in many asana complexes, and it is very useful for those who practice meditation. The most important positive effect of this asana is its ability to help us relax the whole body and soothe the mind. This asana evens out the spine, making it more flexible. It strengthens the lower back and the back muscles generally, as well as the abdominal area. It relaxes our legs and massages the internal organs in the entire abdominal area. This is, accordingly, a very big benefit for the organs of this area, that is, the gastrointestinal tract, the digestive system, and excretory system. It is also very helpful for reproductive problems. It strengthens the pelvic and groinal areas while relaxing the internal organs. While you lean forward, you do both external and internal massages of this area, relieving tension and period pain. This pose is also recommended for mental relaxation. If you come home from work in the evening and there is a mess in your head, you want to have a rest, relax, or you need to prepare yourself for meditation, then this asana should absolutely be performed. It is also very useful for those who have various mental disorders or abnormalities, or other various problems such as a sense of superiority, anxiety, or lack of willpower. Yoga Mudra makes the joints very flexible, specifically the pelvis, knees, and ankles. But we must also remember that this asana has contraindications. These are pregnancy of more than two months, abdominal hernias, and other assorted problems, such as injuries to the knees and shins. This asana must also be performed on an empty stomach. I will now show you how to perform it correctly. Sit on your pelvis, pull out your buttocks with your palms, and, most importantly, the feet need to be put under your knees. There is a widespread incorrect version, where you cross your legs and pull them up towards you, and thus force yourself to bend forward. This becomes more of a roll or jump, rather than an asana. Therefore, you should cross your shins, as it is better to push them forward than to pull them up. Next, your knees should be as relaxed as possible, and your back straight. And the second point, the only area of tension in your body should be your right hand, which holds your left wrist. Now, sit down with your back straight, pull out your buttocks, and grab the left wrist with your right hand behind your back. Take a deep breath, stretch the top of your head up, and on the exhale, lean forward with a straight back, holding your breath for 8 seconds. And back to the starting position. We perform eight such cycles. I recommend changing your legs in four cycles, so as to make it more comfortable to sit in meditation, and for symmetrically opening both feet. You perform this position four times, then move slightly backwards and swap the legs around. If necessary, correct your buttocks and do four more inclinations while holding your breath for eight seconds. I also recommend being very careful with your neck. Very often, during the inclinations, we stretch the chin forward, and this blocks our ability to stretch and relax the cervical spine. And the same thing happens when you return to the starting position. When we stretch the spine upwards, we again clamp the neck muscles, which has a very negative impact on the state of the spine and the blood vessels there. So, it is best to keep your back straight while inclining forwards and going back to the original position. Such are the characteristics of this asana. Please be careful. Most importantly, you should relax while you are down at the bottom. 
and I will share with you a little secret. During exhalation, you should visualize here the center of your body, your consciousness and your breath. Imagine in this spot the most negative moments of your life, any unpleasant thoughts and all the toxins and swag of your body. Exhale and release this from this area of your body and then inhale and charge it again with clean energy. This will increase the effect of this asana, giving you more relaxation and cleansing toxins from the body, as well as simply relaxing your body. And most importantly, it calms your mind and rids you of excessive ego. See you next time. Namaskar.